I'm Heidi Hewitt, AutoCAD Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk, and I'm here with Martin Duke, CAD Manager with Oricon in Queensland, Australia. Martin, when you're working with parametric functionality in AutoCAD, do you take advantage of that parametric functionality for blocks as well? Absolutely. And there's some really great features within the parametric uh, block uh, toolset. And the two I particularly like are the, um, the constraint status uh, setting, where it will color change, the color of your object will change as it gets more and more fixed. So it will start off if you use the default colors as black, and then it sort of changes color as you fix it, until finally it goes to magenta when you know you've fully fixed that object. And that's a really useful tool. Because sometimes, you know, you're not quite sure whether you're there yet. Just look at the object, you know, still got to constrain a little bit more. And the other one I like is the block parameters lookup table, where you can create a table of sizes for an object, and then that table will drive the parametrics in your block. And that's a really great way of making standardized content, but still being variable. Do you have some examples of typical parts or drawings, details, whatever it is that you might use that for? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we do a lot of mining and industrial work, so we would use that for doing things like uh, idler arms and, and pulley arrangements. Okay, and then you've got the set sizes, industry standards, so when a user is inserting one of those blocks, they're limited to those specific valid yeah. sizes. Yeah, and it means we're always going to get consistency. You know, the user doesn't have to try and recreate something or, or make up the sizes. They just put the block in, drop down the thing, pick the size, bingo, they're, they're done. And it drives those parameters just from that list. Yeah. Yeah, I have to agree. That's one of my favorite uh, features, too, with block yeah. parameters. Well thought out. I mean, it's, it extends the... And you, if you've used uh, parametric blocks before, then the, the functionality... The functionality in, sorry, if you've used dynamic blocks before, then the functionality with parametrics just embellishes it further kind of extends on that and yeah. it's even more powerful. Yeah, Great. Absolutely. Well, good to see you taking advantage of that. That's great. Thanks for sharing that with us. Thank you.